In today's video, we're going to see how our new plugin, HDR Link, is going to speed up your image based lighting workflow in Octane. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? Chad here from grayscalegorilla.com, where we bring you the tools, training, and tutorials you need to make yourself a better motion designer. We're really excited about today's video. We're going to show you HDR Link, our brand new plugin that's going to make your image based lighting in Octane go easier, faster, and better. We think you're going to love it. We're really excited about this. Let's go check it out. Okay, here we are in Cinema 4D. We've got Octane set up as our renderer, we've got our Octane Live Viewer going, we've got our still life scene ready to rock. So before we jump into HDR Link, I want to talk to you a bit about how you would do image-based lighting without HDR Link. Typically, you would go to the Object tab here. You would grab an HDR environment, which is going to load white into your, into your sky. Then you would click on this Image Texture node and click on File Name. And you would have to go through that process that we all hate, where you're trying to find the right HDR, but you can't see a preview. You can't necessarily... Uh, just right click and preview this you can't there's no thumbnail so you have to like pick it and then you have to kind of see what it looks like see whether or not you like it and then go back and do that process again and again and again it's a real pain in the butt so that's why we created HDRI link HDRI link is going to solve that problem for you so let's go ahead and kill this octane sky and we're going to create another octane sky or an HDRI environment rather which actually creates the octane sky and then we're going to add the HDRI link tag now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select that light and we're going to click on that same t image texture node that we saw before and we're going to drag the word file and drop it right onto our HDR link tag. Boom. And you can see it instantly creates this link. We've got a nice studio HDR that loads up as default. And now we're ready to start hunting through our browser. But before I do that, I want to go into the advanced tab of our of the link tag here and change this from full to preview, which is just going to load a slightly smaller HDR so that it's going to go a little bit faster in the browser. So I'm just going to double click the HDR link tag and it's going to open up our browser. And this browser is phenomenal. We've got ability to see large images, small images, medium images, and they load super fast. In fact, I've got my favorite HDRI expansion pack already here, and I'm just going to start clicking. I'm just clicking right now. I'm just clicking these as fast as I can, and you can see Octane has no problem with HDRI link uh, working in there to get these lights to me as fast as possible. I just went through about 20 probably over 20 different HDRs I auditioned in less than five seconds. Like that is crazy. So let me open up one of my favorite ones, which is going to be down here, Office Plaza Atrium. I like this one a lot. We also have other expansion packs, tons of expansion packs, actually. We have studio expansion packs. We've got uh, outdoor stuff. I mean, you could just go to our website and look through all of our HDR expansion packs and pick out the one that works for you. Or if you're like me and you want them all, which I'm going to do show all here, which is kind of fun to see all of the HDRs loading in the browser. Now, you can get all of them if you do the HDRI link with uh, the HDRI link suite, which is going to get you the HDRI link and it's going to get you all of the expansion packs that we have out. It's a great deal, slightly uh, cheaper than uh, buying them all a la carte. I recommend this method. Oh, that's a nice one right there. Let's try this one. Oh, that's cool too. And let's just rotate this one off a little bit, maybe 90 degrees, get a little bit more drama. I like that. Cool. So uh, in a nutshell, that is HDRI Link working in Octane. It's a really great way to do image-based lighting and kind of iterate and work really quickly through a bunch of different looks in seconds, really. It's kind of crazy. Welcome back, everybody. We hope you liked HDRI Link in Octane as much as we do. We're really excited about this plugin. As always, go to grayscalegorilla.com for more information on HDR Link, HDR expansion packs, all our other tools and plugins. Go there and check it out. Uh, as always, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. It's, it's cold in here. It's like 10 degrees outside right now.